Oh, we're live on Facebook. Oh, it does say we're live. Okay. It's yeah. it's still giving me the screen. So it hasn't had me come back to you yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are, and now I'm going to go back to the actual. I like doing it from here because Facebook is like a little delay for me. So mm -hmm. got a work we're on. Great. Welcome, 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 everybody. I am your host, Jones Harwell, and this is Journeys with Jones Harwell. And today I have Daniel Reyes with me, and I'm going to let him introduce himself a little bit here. And then we're going to talk about some events that changed his life and how they can change our lives in the process. Welcome, Daniel. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, my name is Daniel Reyes. Uh, I live in North Idaho. Uh, that's where I'm coming to you from today. Um, you know, uh, in the last 10 months, I've lost over 160 pounds through intermittent fasting with fasting dice. But on top of that, um, you know, I've honestly gone from my deathbed to, to living again. Uh, a few years ago, I, I nearly died. It's, it's a big ordeal. I'm sure we'll get into it. But uh yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> happy, indeed. I, yeah. am, I am remote today as well. Normally do my show out of Maryland, um, but I am in South Carolina mm. for a little year. So um, we've got the East Coast meeting the West Coast here. So as, as you said, Idaho? Yeah, yeah. You said Idaho? Yes, I did. Sorry, you cut out there. Uh, yeah, I'm in Idaho. Okay. Oh, okay. How is it there? I've never been there yet. I'm uh, sure so it's I'm in North Idaho. There, though, than it is, I'm sure, in, in Maryland where I'm at, though, you guys get a lot more snow. Um, Not as much as you would think, but this year we've gotten more than normal. Um, It's it's different, man. Like I grew up uh, in Orange County, California, right? So I... I've had, you know, I, I, I know diversity and population and all that. And then to come here, it's, it's very different, very, very different in so many respects. <laughs> I can imagine. I can only imagine. So let's get to talking about your story. Um, yeah. You said uh, four years ago, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what to uh, your, your circumstances, but the doctors had found several lung clots, blood clots in your in your lungs, and mm -hmm. it sent you on your journey to change your lifestyle. So share yeah. with us what you want of, of that journey. Yeah. So about four years ago, um, I I was not in a good spot. Right. There was a solid month uh, before I went into the hospital where I could not sleep laying down. I just couldn't breathe. And ended up, it was because of the clots. Uh, I was later told that just one clot in your lungs, you only have a 20% chance of survival. And I had several. Mm. So it, it, I was not in a good spot. And I didn't realize till later just how bad I was. Um, you know, I, I rapidly gained weight. I couldn't breathe. Uh, people commented uh, that I had blue lips because there wasn't enough oxygen getting in oxygen oh wow yeah yeah but i kept pushing myself because i didn't you know typical man that that you know doesn't want to go to the doctor you know and and uh it was bad it was it was very very bad uh eventually you know my family convinced me i i, I need to go in i need to go get checked so i went and uh i went in at like 11 o'clock in the morning and by five o'clock, I was having emergency surgery for the blood clots in my lungs. So very, very quick, everything went. Mm. Um, I ended up staying. So I stayed a month in the hospital, was out for a month, and then went back in for another month. So basically, it was a summer of being in the hospital. And uh, in, wow. during that time, three weeks of it was spent in what they call an end-of-life room. Yeah, that that's got to be a very emotional uh, point in time, and and I, I can't I can't fathom 
just being there in, in that position. How did that make you feel? Well, uh, not good for sure. Right. Uh, the, the, one of the good things I, I will say is they did not tell me at the time it was an end of life room. Uh, they just told me that I was special and I got a really big room all to myself. And I had like one of the biggest TVs you could get in the room. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I just thought, Oh, wow, this is really nice. And, and I do remember they, they had mentioned that the guy across the hall from me had cancer and I knew that I was in mm-hmm. for the blood clots. So I was like, well, that's weird that they would put me in next to a cancer guy, but whatever, <laughs> like now I know, right? Like we were both just really bad, right. but yeah. Mm-hmm. But back then, like, I, yeah, I was so drugged up and, and so many, you know, so in my situation that I, I didn't even think about it. Mm-hmm. So once they were able to to clear the blood clots, um, I, I assume that that was not the end of your journey because you said it, it took you a little bit longer uh, to, to make some of the changes. And one of the changes that you thought about was doing the uh, surgery for the weight loss. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I was told that. after everything, right, after after clearing out the clots and everything, uh, I was told basically I have five years. Um, I was also, you know, on top of everything else, I was born with a congenital heart defect, meaning my heart is, is, is um, it's not the right shape and it doesn't work exactly the way it's supposed to. So no matter how much weight I lose, no matter how much fasting I do, I'm, I'm never going to fix that, right? There's always mm-hmm. going to be that issue. And, and that's fine. It's manageable. And, and I can, you know, up until then I was living a perfectly normal life. So it's fine. It's just knowing that. Right. Um, so I was told I have five years and that could be it. They, they weren't a hundred percent sure because, you know, I, I'm young, but I, you know, still, uh, but the likelihood was that, that that would be it. So mm. that was scary. Right. And they said, one of the things that I could do to, to make that better and to improve my situation is to lose weight. So, I mean, there's, there's nothing more motivating than a ticking clock over your head. Right. And, and knowing that, that you got to lose the weight. And right. so in that, in that span, I, I have tried everything you could think of, right. Calorie restriction, point systems, keto, Adkins, um, I mean, you name it, I tried it, right. I, I went to a dietitian. I, I looked at weight loss surgery, um, everything and anything. Um, I was told at the, at the weight loss surgery clinic here, um, that on average, most weight loss surgery is not successful because, Mm -hmm. um, people do not learn the reasons behind why they're so overweight. So that didn't help. Um, and then, uh, it, it, it was, I have family members who have had weight loss surgery mm-hmm. and long-term it didn't work. Like they, they lost a bunch of weight initially, but it has since came all back and more brought friends. So not good. Right. So, right. so going into it, I was already hesitant, but, but what really sealed the deal for me to not want to go that route is because of my situation with the clots and my heart and, and everything, It was going to be a big production to get me into surgery. Uh, My cardiologist had to sign off on it. My hematologist had to sign off on it. They had to bring in a a special um, uh, anesthesiologist that dealt with cardiac patients. So there was going to be a lot before I could get the sign off. Hello? Hello? Okay. I'm sorry, it's it's freezing. So that are you still with me? I think we froze for a minute. I'm still here. Another location, will it? Hello? 
Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, let me try moving to another location. Let me see if that okay. will help. So, yeah. Um, and bear with this, guys, as I technology is kind of my background, so I do know a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. But let's see me moving to a better spot will help our case here. So I like that we're getting the tour of the house. Uh, yes. Your concerns are 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 the you know what triggered for you not to do the weight loss surgery. And I can totally understand the underlying issues to not guarantee to take that chance. So how did you end up finding fasting dice? Yeah, so um, basically uh, from doing my research on, on weight loss and, and then the surgery, I, I started looking into intermittent fasting, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I saw so much good material about it and, and so much great success. I mean, I did do kind of an unscientific survey in that I started looking up weight loss accounts and I mm -hmm. looked up those that did surgery and then those that were doing intermittent fasting. And I noticed that those that did intermittent fasting, it was more consistent and it was more sustainable than those that did weight loss surgery. There wasn't rapid weight gains like there was with the surgery. So okay. that's how I so got an intermittent fast. Yeah. So for a person like me that's not familiar with intermittent fasting, yeah. Somebody that's listening to this broadcast, what mm -hmm. exactly is that? And and explain that a little bit more to us. Sure. So intermittent fasting is basically time restricted eating. So um, you know, it, it's pretty popular right now. Uh I know uh the guy who plays Thor uses it to get in shape for Thor. Uh, mm -hmm. Terry Crews, the actor, has come out and said that he's very into that and has been for years. Okay. Um, so, so a lot of people are using this, right? Um, but so like, let's say the, the average people, uh, the most common, I would should say, is uh, what they call 16-8, meaning you do not eat for 16 hours. But in that 16 hours is eight hours of sleeping. So basically ju just skip breakfast roughly and, and okay. don't eat so late at night. And so, you know, you might start at noon and, and stop eating by, by eight and there you go. It's not so bad. Um, so is there like a particular calorie count with this or you can eat what you want? I'm assuming that you still can't kind of eat what you want. You kind of have to watch your calorie intake or. Right. Yeah. There are limits, right? Okay. Yeah. It's not, it's not, you get to eat eight hours straight right? It's not the buffet. So, so it mean what it means is you have eight hours in which you have the opportunity to eat. So in an eight hour window, maybe two meals and a snack, right? Okay. Make them healthy. If you want to go low carb, you can, if you want to go keto, you can, if you want to go vegan, vegetarian, you can, it's not restricted to the diet. It's just when you can eat. Okay. Um, so yeah, eat healthy, right? You can't you can't go get fast food and expect to keep losing weight. I mean, there right there there's right. limits. Yeah. So, and that's the other thing that I really like about it is like I've learned to change my relationship with food, right? Like if I get hungry, that's not like, oh, I've got to eat now. Like I can think about it and and really plan out what what I want to do. Um, so that that's helpful. The other thing I've noticed too is with having a time restricted window, uh, when it is time to eat, because I've gone so long without food, I don't want to ruin that by having a cheeseburger, you know, mm -hmm. I want to make it count. Mm -hmm. So, so that's helped I've noticed. Um, but as I was doing this, uh, you know, for me, I like to have fun. I like to come up with new ideas. And, and I thought, you know, the whole idea about fasting is to, to mimic ancient eating patterns, right? What, what, what cave people would do or, or, you know, way back in the day. And, mm -hmm. and so what would they do? Well, it's not like they were looking at their clock going, oh, you know, it's two o'clock. It's my, my window is open. I'm going to go eat. They were out there hunting and gathering, right. Or, or right. growing the crops, whatever. So it was more eating at opportunity, not 
schedule. Uh, so so there was an, there's a random element missing, right? And then mm-hmm. being here in North Idaho, I know that, you know, just because you got trail cams and scopes and lasers doesn't mean you're going to get that deer, right? Right, right? Sometimes, amazingly, sometimes they escape. So, um, so there's some random element missing. And so that's when I developed fasting dice. So they're, they have different times on each dice. One, one is your eating window. One is your fasting window. Um, I've got them right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just, they're just little dice. And you can just roll them and, you, and get new windows. Um, if you want to do it daily, great. If you want, like, if you get a, a routine that works for you, run on mm-hmm. it for a while. Change it up. Uh, it also helps prevent your body adapting to what you're doing because it's constantly changing. Mm -hmm. Um, We have also found that, that people who use this part of what it does is, is it gives them a sense of accomplishment. And so by doing this consistently and doing those, you know, different fast windows uh, Mm -hmm. regularly, um, they, they feel like it builds the confidence to continue to lose weight. So. Now, did you do anything else outside of just the fasting dice? To lose 160 pounds, you look amazing. Thank you. Yeah, and I still got more to go, but I'm doing it right. Um, I, you know, I, I I did remove some foods, right? Like mm-hmm. you got to. You can't just, you know, you don't get as big as I was. Like I, I was the biggest that I weighed in at that I know of is 460, but mm. I, I I don't know. Honestly, it could have been higher, but I don't know for sure. But that's that's the top that I can say for sure. Um, so that was rough, right? And but getting rid of certain foods wasn't so bad because I knew what I was getting. The other cool thing is with fasting, the the weight loss is pretty consistent and pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Like when I looked at weight loss surgery, right? Mm-hmm. I was told if I am lucky, I will lose a hundred pounds in a year. It's only 10 months and I'm down 160. Much faster. And if you're listening to this thinking, oh, what about, you know, what's going on inside? Like maybe that's not good from not eating. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I have since seen my hematologist and my cardiologist, and I've done blood work with both. Um, my cardio, my hematologist I just saw uh, two, three months ago did blood work. Uh, because they have to check for clots all the time, right? That that's right, right. part of it. Okay. Um, and from my understanding, it's like they look for certain protein markers in your blood to see where you're at. Uh, he came in the year before. He said, "You're looking better, but not you're not where we want you to be." This year, you know, a few months ago, he said, uh, "Your blood work is perfect." Wow. And, and I was, and I had to ask, I'm like, "Do you mean for me with all my issues that it looks good?" He's like, no, 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 it's perfect. So I'm still on the medications and everything because, you know, that's one test. I mean, we need a, we need a history of it before we can look at other stuff, but, but still great, great, you know, motivation to keep going. Uh, My cardiologist, you know, he's the one who used to tell me you've got five years. Uh, He looked at me this last time, and this was like a a couple of weeks ago, Mm -hmm. like, my, my, my visit was more us just talking about what's going on in life, how great I'm doing. Uh, he's, he's talking about like, I have decades to go maybe longer. He's like, cause one of the things they talked about is maybe needing a heart transplant at some point. Mm-hmm. And now he's like, you know, honestly, with the way science is going, who knows, mm-hmm. maybe you will never need a transplant. We'll have some, some new method by then, but if not, be ready for that potentially in the future, but right now you don't need it. So great. You know, the longer I can kick that can down the road, the better. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. How can people learn uh, more information about fasting dice or, because I know you have your website that's up. Yeah. Yeah. So I have my story. I do regular uh, videos on there uh, talking about weight loss journey, the emotions behind weight loss, because I have been there. I've, I've had the struggle. I've been heavy my whole life. I get it. Right. And, and, uh, so all those videos are on there as well. Uh, fastingdice.com. You can find it. We're, we're on all the social media, mm-hmm. uh, fasting dice, same handle everywhere. 
um, TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, you name it, I'm on it. So absolutely, we would love to help people. Great, great, great. What are your plans for this year? Uh, still good doing what I'm doing. Still, still keep losing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still making that path. I'm very excited mm-hmm. about that. Um, you know, just, just let people know about fasting dice, grow that out. And, and just, you know, earlier this week, I, I was invited to speak at a doctor's conference to talk about my story and, and talk to them about, you know, uh, how to lose weight with, mm-hmm. for, for patients, you know, and, and how to help them. And mm-hmm. so that was, that was great. And so hopefully I'll get to help more people in the future. That is fantastic. Fantastic and great news, Daniel. What would you say, because I, I, I know you've been on this journey for so long. And mm-hmm. of course, there, there, there are highs and there, there are lows for anybody that goes through weight loss. And one of the things that you mentioned that I, I think is really important that we should focus on, a lot of times people don't focus on the underlying issues as to why they're gaining the weight. I mean, there's there's some that's typical that it's a thyroid issue. We get it. It's medical. Okay. But Mm -hmm. those that are, are, that's not the case. And it's, it's, it's some underlining either emotional or backdrop story there. What would you recommend to those to try to get over that hurdle a little bit to at least try? Because, uh, you know, it's easy to say, put one foot in front of the, in front of the others, but I think mm-hmm. it's like yours that help people say, just take it one day at a time, one step at a time. Just take the first step and let somebody be there to help you take the next step. Is okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, one of the things that, that really helped me. Um, so uh, I like to listen to audiobooks, right? And mm-hmm. so I, I forget the name of the book, but it was a book about discipline. And one of the, uh, one of the hints they had was to write out your goals, but on top of that, write out how you think you're going to feel when you achieve them. Mm. So attach an emotion to it. Mm -hmm. And then, so I put it on my Google drive, right? So that way I have access to it at all times, this paper that has what my goals are and how I, I believe I'm going to feel. And so anytime I think about cheating or, or doing something bad with my diet, I can look at that Mm -hmm. and remind myself where I want to be both, you know, physically and emotionally. And, you know, when you do that, suddenly pizza doesn't seem as appealing. That's true. Or find new ways to make pizza, you know, because now I think, I I think back a few years ago would be, you know, is, is five years ago, vegan food was not what it was. Right. Gluten-free food wasn't as what it was. You know, if you had to go on a gluten-free diet, you're like, oh my gosh, this stuff, Mm -hmm. no taste, no anything. So a lot of- (laughs) You'd wonder what crime you committed. (laughs) Right, including myself was like, I'm not going to pay $10 for some bread. (laughs) This, you know, it's a brick when it hits- Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you cannot tell the difference because our technology has just gotten that just much better. And- Mm -hmm. Uh, even with, you know, uh, some vegan stuff that's out there. My husband uh, tickled me one day. He came home and he says, there's this vegan place in Maryland. And he swore he was eating chicken. And they didn't yeah. tell him that he was not eating chicken until after he had finished it. He was so amazed and so surprised. It was yeah. like, got to try this place out. We got to try this place out. You'll love it. So, but yeah, it's just you know, finding different variations of even some of the foods that you love. You know, and and the thing you got to remember too is like, okay, some of it honestly is not going to be as good as the real thing. You have to accept that. Mm -hmm. It's going to, or it may taste a little bit off. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it's different than what you expect. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Be prepared for that. Know that, but also think about the progress you're going to make and where you're trying to get to. So that's something I would tell people. That is great. That is great. I agree. I'm going to check here. I'm going to see if anybody is on here that Mm -hmm. wants to ask any questions. Oh yeah. 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 Let me see here. 
as we continue to talk. Not at the moment. Okay. But I have truly enjoyed the conversation and, and I, I find it amazing. Um, uh, now, were you able to, um, and I said, you know, going back to you've lost 160 pounds, did you incorporate any type of, of uh, exercise regimen to that or just regular walking or, or no? Yeah, uh, b- before everything, I've always enjoyed going to the gym. Right. Okay. I, I may not have looked healthy, but I, I did enjoy that. Mm-hmm. So, so it, for me at my worst, I couldn't even walk to the bathroom. Right. I was, I was that bad. So to, to go walk on the treadmill or run or mm-hmm. lift weights, it's such, it's at that time, this is where I was hoping I would get to again. And now it's, it's awesome to think about. I can go even further. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I do work out. Also, honestly, as you lose weight, I think there's a natural tendency to want to be more active. It's mm-hmm. harder to sit still. So I, mm-hmm. that helps too. Yeah, I enjoy, I do enjoy walking and I enjoy uh, swimming. And my excuse always was the pool was too far away. Mm-hmm had to go to because for me I want something that's close by I don't want to have to go 30 45 minutes right there and then I'm doing an hour then I gotta you know get myself to uh especially in the winter time and, mm-hmm. and just people that are where there's cold weather can understand mm-hmm. that you don't want to have to try to dry off then wrap up you're going back outside which pours open <laughs> Get, to get home you know so it's um, literally 20 degrees outside right now i get you oh i get uh, it yeah and so uh we finally got something a little bit closer to us and i was so happy i had planned my whole year out and i was going mm-hmm. literally every morning till the pandemic hit till covid came and then mm-hmm. my whole you know swim thing went out the window so now i gotta you know restart that regimen again uh, but it, it was something that I really look forward to doing every single morning. And I think that's part of the problem, too. We have to figure out things that really work for us. Mm-hmm. And even if it works, to still switch switch it up. Because mm-hmm. you get into a routine. And this is what normally happens for me. I'll get into a routine. And then, you know, I'm doing great for a couple of weeks. And I'm like, oh, I can miss a morning. Mm-hmm morning becomes two mornings yep and i'm back at square one yep uh you know an, another thing too if if you're not able to leave the house especially in these times mm-hmm. um honestly youtube is a great resource there there's all sorts of like uh yoga videos and like dance videos you can do body weight exercises uh tai chi even what, whatever it is you want, it's on there on YouTube. Like, just look it up, try them, see see what works for you, and and, and go with that. Mm-hmm. That has been great. I have truly enjoyed our conversation today. It has been yeah, me too, Daniel. Once again, give everybody your information as to where they can find you on social media and how they can get a hold of you if they are looking for a, a way to jumpstart their Mm -hmm. weight loss program or just jumpstart a new way to staying healthy and living a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. So, uh, uh, fastingdice.com. That's, that's the main site. Uh, there's also all the social medias, fasting dice, uh, fastingdice.com has got uh, a contact page. You, you can absolutely reach me and I'd be happy to answer your questions and talk to you. Um, if you get fasting dice and you have questions about it, that that's great. Um, I'm not sure when, when this will post, but we are it's live. running. Oh, it's live. Okay. Yeah, so we, we, we are, are currently running a promotion <laughs> on fastingdice.com uh, right now. Uh, you can get a discount on, on your first pair of dice. And so um, it, it's great. You know, if you want to get a couple for you and some friends and start that, that accountability, that's awesome too. And, and I will get those out to you right away. But yeah, uh, you can do it. No, no matter what, y- you can do it. You, you have to want to do it. And by what that means really is you have to choose your goals 
over your impulses. When you're ready to do that, then you will get there. Okay, everybody heard him now. He didn't, he didn't put the challenge out there. He didn't put the offer out there for you. To check out fastingdice.com. You mentioned my show. You've seen the show. They will get the discount. All right. You guys yeah. are here on Journeys with Jones Harwell. You heard it here. So take it, take full advantage of it. If you if you're looking to jumpstart your, your weight loss journey and to healthy living, a healthier lifestyle, please. Daniel Ray has is a source and array of information and an inspiration to all that see him. Uh, congratulations on your journey so far. And Thank you. So uh, your your reasons for living longer was 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 the determination to make the change. You look fantastic. You look great. Um, yeah, feel great. I'd love to continue to see your journey and how how you uh, are going for it. How much more are you looking to lose or where do you think you want to be? You know, I, I don't have like a specific number in mind. Um, I, I would like to get down to, to, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the, like the one eighties somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know yet. Um, I, I do enjoy what I'm doing and, and improving. So that that's great. Uh, there's certain things I want to be able to do physically that, that I'm getting closer and closer to do. So maybe that's more of my goals. Um, so there's a bucket list. Okay. There's a bucket list. There is. Okay, what's on the bucket? What's the main thing on the bucket list that you want to be able to do? So it sounds ridiculous, but I, I really want to do this. Uh, have you ever heard of, of paracopters? Is it more, is kind of like parasailing? No. Or kind of, kind of. of. Okay. Um, so, so basically it's a big engine that you like a backpack that you strap to your back that has a giant fan. And then there's the parachute and the you room. can, it's the, room. Yeah. Oh yes. I've seen you it. can launch yourself into the sky and literally fly with this parachute on you. And, and, uh, you know, you can go 30, 40, 50 miles with it. And you're wow. literally just sitting in the air flying, um, from everything I've read, uh, you know, like, let's say your engine cuts out. Well, you already have the parachute out, so you're fine. You're just going to drift down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, that doesn't sound like something I want to try, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. It looks fun for other people, but I, <laughs> this thing about, ooh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, I want to try it, so. I think one thing I want to do eventually uh, is get over my fear of I have a, a, a I have a I have a I'm claustrophobic so I have a, mm. a, if I can't if if I'm too enclosed I, you know I I have an issue and if I can't feel something of course I have an issue mm -hmm. uh, I've always wanted to try uh, scuba diving so that oh would, yeah would be on my bucket list eventually to do. To get over my fear of deep water, um, yeah, I, I I I love the water. You know, I love all elements, but I'm, I'm most comfortable when I'm around water. But that's that's so I could see that. Being yeah, a bucket. I think to do. if I remember right, once you're certified in scuba diving, you're certified for life and internationally. So, like, wow. if you want to scuba dive, you know, in the tropics or uh -huh. wherever, as long as you have that card, you you can take it anywhere wow yeah. eventually maybe one day there you go but that's that's the thing getting over that fear and taking yeah one step at a time exactly right exactly yeah right well everybody this concludes our show for today i want to thank our guest daniel reyes for stopping by and talking to us about his weight loss journey and his company fastingdice.com uh, mm -hmm. Heard it here on the show. If you go to his website and uh, purchase, mention my show, he will provide you with a discount. If you need any help whatsoever, YouTube videos, videos to watch, uh, just someone to help you through the weight loss journey, give you some advice, please reach out to his website, fastingdice.com. He's on all social medias, Daniel Reyes. 
We appreciate you shopping, stopping by today. Mm -hmm. uh, my PSA for the end of this show is we have still for the month of January coming up, Kay Doran. Uh, we have uh, Tina Fumo. And we have, who's my last guest? Amazing, oh, Yvonne, Yvonne Dam. So I want to make sure I say her name correctly. And I think Yvonne is up next. And then we have Kay and then we have Tina at the end of the month. And then who knows? Check me back often. I might have some little Sunday tidbits or just pop on at the pop of the moment if I have anything going on. But thank you, Daniel, for your time today. I enjoyed hearing about your story. Thank you for sharing your story with my audience. And yeah, thanks for having me on. Yes. We will be in touch and keep keep in touch to mm -hmm. see the journey continues. With that, I'm your host, Jones Harwell, and thank you for watching us today on Journeys with Jones Harwell. <laughs>